people fight every now and then. To some of us, it's quite a normal occurrence. While some people would prefer to settle their differences with words alone, some people aren't quite satisfied with that and would rather prefer to settle their differences with their fists or anything that happens to be on hand at the time of the fight. And no, your favorite celebrities aren't left out of it either. From time to time, we hear stories of celebrities they get into physical altercations with one another or even with their fans. Sometimes we're even lucky enough and somebody records the fight and we get to see a video. So in today's video, I'll be taking you through some of the most epic fights involving your favorite rappers in recent times. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck! Kid Cudi vs An Overeager Fan Some things are undeniable about Kid Cudi. For one, it's apparent to anyone that he's one of the most talented rappers out there. Another undeniable fact is that he isn't afraid to get into fights, even with his fans. A quick search of the internet will show you countless reports of Kid Cudi getting into physical altercations. In 2010, the rapper was performing in Ohio when he got interrupted by an overeager fan. Anyone who knows Kid Cudi knows how much he doesn't like to be interrupted while he's performing, so this fan was clearly pushing his luck. The fan jumped on stage and threw a bottle of water at the other concert goers and then approached Cudi. The security team managed to get the fan off the stage before he could reach Cudi, but that didn't stop Cudi from rushing off stage and physically getting into the fan's face, throwing a punch or two. In 2009, allegedly Cudi punched the fan on stage after the fan threw a wallet at him. So take my advice, whenever you're at a Kid Cudi concert, remember to be on your best behavior. Mano vs Young Berg Fans of rap music will definitely remember the epic fight that went down between rappers Young Berg and Mano in 2008. But here's a quick refresher. In October of 2008, Young Berg and Mano were in a club in Atlanta, and as you can guess, they had more than a few drinks. Then Young Berg confronted Mano for talking reckless about him in the club. Maybe things would have been different if they hadn't been drinking, but they had. So rather than a peaceful tete a tete, they resorted to their fists. Mano quickly got the upper hand and hit Berg with what he later referred to in an interview as the hand of God. In an interview, he said, I feel like I did him a favor. I tried to sober him up because something was wrong with him. Drake vs Diddy Drake and Diddy are two of the richest and most popular rappers in the game, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to like each other or even get along with each other. In 2014, both rappers got into a fight at a swanky Miami nightclub where they were both at a birthday party for DJ Khaled. There are several reports as to what the cause of the fight was, but we can narrow it down to two things, money and women. Numerous sources claim that Diddy felt disrespected after Drake used his music without proper rights. And other sources claim that the fight was because an intoxicated Drake made a nasty comment about Diddy's then girlfriend, singer Cassie Ventura. Around 4 a.m., Diddy security walked over to Drake's table and let him know that Diddy wanted to speak to him outside, and Drake obliged with his entourage in tow. Once outside, an argument broke out between the rappers, which quickly turned into a fight, which is not at all surprising if you consider the fact that both rappers had more than a few drinks at that party. Sources at the venue confirmed the fight, saying that Diddy clearly had the upper hand and punched Drake at least three times. The fight then ended with Drake having to go into the hospital, and there were several rumors that he had dislocated his shoulder in the fight. Drake isn't a stranger to club fights about women, as his famous fight with Chris Brown in 2012 will always be fresh on our minds. Rick Ross vs Young Jeezy This is one of the most epic fights on this list because it was more of a brawl than a fight. What really happened? Well, Rick Ross and Jeezy had previously been in the middle of a beef, which is not at all that uncommon in the music industry if this list is anything to go by. However, the feud came to a peak at the taping of the 2012 BET Hip Hop Awards at the Atlantic Civic Center. It started as a confrontation between both rappers Entourage, and what started as a misunderstanding became an argument, and soon involved pushing and shoving before degenerating into what can only be described as a brawl. The brawl then moved to the parking lot, you know, so that they could throw punches in a more open place. There were rumors of gunshots being fired, but the police denied such rumors, saying that no gunshots were fired at or anywhere near the premises. The Civic Center was locked down and the police were called, but no arrests were made at the end of the day. ASAP Rocky vs An Annoying Fan 
This is one of the most high profile cases on the list, as celebrities like Kim Kardashian West and even former United States President Donald Trump had to step in. ASAP Rocky was in Stockholm, Sweden and was walking the streets with his entourage when two men started following them. The two men ignored repeated requests by the rapper's entourage to stop following them. The men ignored the request and kept following them, even hitting the bodyguards with their headphones. Soon after, two women walked up to the rapper's entourage and reported that the two men had groped them. This caused an already tense situation to go out of hand, and a fight soon broke out, which ended with the two men being transported to the hospital in an ambulance. ASAP Rocky and two members of the entourage were arrested after his performance and kept Dan Cronenberg remand prison until after his trial. Former President Donald Trump tweeted his support for the rapper, but due to Swedish laws preventing intervention of politicians in the court of law, there was very little that he could do. ASAP Rocky was convicted for assault and he got a suspended license. He also had to pay $1,270 in damages to the victim, as did the two members of the entourage that were also convicted. After the release, he was stated that he doesn't hold any hard feelings towards Sweden and has even performed in the country after the incident. Drake vs Chris Brown On June 14, 2012, Drake and Chris Brown made headlines as the two found themselves at the center of a melee that led to multiple patrons being injured and thousands of dollars in property damage. The rap megastar and R&B singer, alongside Mary J. Blige, Fabulous, Iman Shumpert, and others were inside a nightclub called Whip in Manhattan as they celebrated the birthday of Neo's manager, Javon Smith. No one can state clearly how the scuffle had started, but it was a really wild one with champagne, liquor bottles, and glasses being thrown. Shortly after the event, several large lawsuits were filed against both artists and the club, including one filed by NBA star Tony Parker who claimed that the establishment was aware of the bad blood between the two rappers, but continued to serve them alcohol when it was clear that they were intoxicated. Later on, a promoter also offered them to participate in a boxing match for a prize of $1 million. The two have gone on to become buddies since the incident, with both regretting all that happened. Kanye West vs Paparazzi In the last rapper fight on our list today, Kanye West gets two years probation for his fight with paparazzi photographer Daniel Ramos in 2013. The rapper was being photographed at LAX and he took offense. The rapper ran towards Ramos and attempted to grab his camera. At first, Kanye pleaded not guilty to the charges of misdemeanor battery and attempted grand theft, with the latter being dismissed. He was made to undergo 250 hours of community service and 30 days of anger management. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in 5 seconds.